Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, Diana. How are you? Hello. A little bit tired, but here we are. <laughs> ah, good. <laughs> Finally, you are here, right? Yes. That is the. It's Friday, you know. Then yes, we are tired, but also you know, it's just uh, fifty more minutes. 60 more minutes and then you will be free. Then you will have you will be able to rest yeah. until Monday. Okay, good. But do you have to work tomorrow? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. That's nice. Yeah, because it's I have to work on, on Saturdays, it's terrible. Like well, these days I'm not working on Saturdays, luckily. But when I have to work in Saturdays, it's bad. Hey, hello, Anna. Hello. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing well. Okay, uh, nice. Maybe a little stressful. A little bit. Why? <laughs> uh, 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 my mother in law. Uh huh. Uh, maybe um, I'm worried for her. Okay, okay. I understand. Yeah, because uh, she's, she's sick. sick. Okay. Yes. Okay, but hopefully, hopefully, you know, everything will be okay. Okay, just, okay. yeah, I'm really sorry to hear that. But I hope she gets well soon. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. You. You're welcome. Okay, people. So, now we're going to have hey where 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 is my assistant? Hello Herbert. It's Herbert the teacher assistant. Hello. Uh, <laughs> te technical support. <laughs> How are you, Herbert? Very good. Okay, nice. That's uh, good. It's Friday. Yeah, finally, yeah, finally we can we got to to this day. Hello, Maria Delmi. Hello. How are Good you today? Evening. Good evening. Um, so boring. <laughs> bored? Why are you bored? It's Friday. Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, but I am in class. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm boring. <laughs> yeah. It's like me, you know, I'm happy, it's Friday, but you know, yeah, but I'm working. Okay. Yes. No, okay. I, I know. Yeah, fr you know, Friday to, to work, to study is hard, hard. Mm -hmm. The body is telling you, stop, stop. And then yeah. you, want, you don't want to stop. Okay, good. Hello, Luis Miguel. Hello, DJ. How are you doing? Uh, a little bit sick. Okay. Uh, but ready, ready to do our class. Okay, good, yes. Yeah, if the uh, but you don't have to work tomorrow. Yes, I I, I have to work tomorrow. But uh, only only the morning. Only only the morning. Oh, okay. uh, in the afternoon I free. Oh great. Yeah. Maybe can... maybe I will be I will go with my family to Salvador del Mundo. Uh huh. Uh, start uh, tomorrow. We we'll start the uh, parties, holidays. Uh -huh, for, yes, uh, for Christmas, right? Christmas, uh huh. Christmas holiday. Yeah, that's exactly. good. Exactly. There would be maybe, a lot of. Maybe, I mean, there, but, there will be a lot of but, activities. So sorry, I I don't hear. There will be a lot of activities tomorrow in different places. <laughs> uh, no, no, no more. Uh. No more activities. No, I mean uh, the the activities. For example, there will be there will be one. I think uh, mm. there will be a concert. There is a concert in, in 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 the same place. No, in different areas. In different areas. Ah. Okay. So uh, the topic is going yeah, to be but, but we we are exciting, but for the. Luces Campero. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yes, the Campero. But that's uh, what we... but but that is a Sunday. 
Sunday. Uh -huh. Sunday in, at, at night. In the uh -huh. cafe talon, right? Uh -huh. Yes, in the cafe talon. But you don't need to go to the cafe talon. You just have to find a Girl, nice you, place. You live in Herlin, no? Near. Near. Sorry. No, near. No. no, I live. Uh, I live in, in Lourdes. I live. Ah. Uh, well, no. Like it's yeah. Is uh, technically is near because it's only fifteen kilometers, fifteen twenty kilometers from uh, 20, twenty minutes maybe uh, twenty minutes without traffic, but with traffic mm. two hours, <laughs> <laughs> two days. <laughs> yeah, today. yeah, today. Yeah, it's still two hours. Today, I left uh, La Gran Vía. I was near that area at five. No, yeah, let me say five. And I came uh, home at 5.30, one hour and a half. Imagine one hour and a half. And the and usually without traffic, it's only 25 minutes. So like three times, mm -hmm. three times more, you know. Yeah, that, you know, it's not always, right? Sometimes it's less. Sometimes the, less. The, Sometimes. the night, maybe... 10 o'clock, uh, mm -hmm. p.m. o'clock, 10 p.m. o'clock is uh, the, our, my, our favorite to drive. Yes. Yeah, because, because it's, it's don't not have hot. Traffic. Uh -huh. Yes, you're right. I okay. agree with you, Luis Miguel, completely. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Okay. Now, we're going to remember last night we couldn't watch a video. Okay, today we're going to watch them uh now the platform seems to be willing willing to cooperate let's expand this one let me share the sound Okay, this is the the neighborhood has changed. Then we had the time contrast between this one. From here, I'm going to repeat this one. And then we continue. Hello everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, People might buy groceries by computer. Fifty years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago or people used to or 50 years ago and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays. And of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence pretense. 
we will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay. Soon, in 20 years, in one sentence pretense. Expressions that you may use with each expression. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Okay, currently is, for example, when you say at present, right? Uh, currently, I am working in an office. Currently, I am working only online, okay? In the meantime, okay, in the meantime, I am uh, a preparing a, some material for for tomorrow's class right so this is what i'm doing these days or now future expressions in the next couple of years next in the near future now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below make sure you do it okay so these are these one are some expressions that we're going to practice with. For example, as a child, I used to I used to eat a lot of uh the candies. Uh, question: Do you know there is a company hiring? Uh, it depends. Uh, on, I don't know. Uh, Depends on the, uh, on the level of the of what the company <clears throat> needs uh, the English for. For example, in a school, probably the benefit is for children. If it is a kinder, maybe. So I don't know in, in which area you want to work. Okay, so it depends on that. So everything depends on the area. Usually, depending on some schools are very, very demanding with the level, but some other schools probably they need uh, just for small kids uh, to teach vocabulary practice, and that would be. Call centers also could be. And the, the advantage with the call centers is that you can probably. Uh, well, they, some, some call centers, they also give you training to learn more English. So those are the places, probably a call center is the most uh, uh, probably suitable place to go and ask, apply to a call center. Okay, so then uh, we can use these expressions and say, as a child, I used to uh, eat a lot of candies. As a child, I used to watch a lot of cartoons. Uh, as a child, I used to uh, sleep a lot. Okay. And let me see what else. For example, uh, as a child, I used to, I used to run a lot. Okay. Five years ago, this is five years ago, what? Five years ago, I, well, I, I had never taught online. Okay, five years ago, I didn't teach online. So then I started after the pandemic. Okay, now think about sentences, expressions, but orally, verbally, okay? Just raise your hand and tell me, choose an uh, expression from here and tell me a sentence. Nowadays, I I run 10 kilometers every morning. Nowadays, I don't do any exercise. Uh, nowadays, I try not to eat too much. Okay, tell me sentences using this expression. 
teacher. Yes, sir. Can you give me an example with the first one? As a child. Yes. As a child, I used to live in Ciudad Delgado. Okay. As a child, I used to uh, I used to watch the Flintstones cartoons. Okay. The piedras, I love them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, as a child, I love to. yeah. As a child, I used to uh, I used to be a, a Boy Scout. I used to be a Boy Scout. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, people, begin. Let's start shooting. Okay, one volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Anna, go ahead. Uh, just one uh, a sentence. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Whatever. As a child, as a child, I used to play with the some popos in in on May. Yes, know. yes, yes. Can I say? Yeah, the word some popo is that's in English. Some popo is the yes. same. Uh huh. Yes, yes it's true. Hey, yes, <laughs> we, we were very cruel. You, uh, I, we we used to tie them up. Yes. With a with a thread with thread. Was a knife. Ah uh -huh, yeah, yeah that was <laughs> nice. You unblock a uh, good memory. <laughs> okay. Oh, as a child, I used to, uh, I don't know, preventar la pólvora. No sé cómo decirlo. I used to, uh, let's say, I used to play the uh, fireworks. Uh -huh. Yes, play fireworks. Okay. Uh, do you remember okay. una? Desenvolvía, I don't know. Unwrap. Unwrap. Unwrap, ajá. Unwrap the 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 present. The fire, the, the fire, no? Uh, the the cuete, no sé. Ah, yes, yes, I had the firework. Ah. <laughs> the firework. Yes. And, and then light, light it with... and throw it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. That was very, so... very nice. Okay, good. Okay, more sentences. Uh, Maria tell me any sentences that five years ago, nowadays, next year I'm going to, in five years I will, in 10 years I might. You know, in 10 years I might be retired. Uh, five years ago, no, minutes, minutes, oh, three, three. Three years, three years ago, I I never mind to to work online. Okay. <laughs> but after pandemia, I I have to work online. Okay, good. Anybody else? And Okay, go ahead. If you have some more, go ahead. And nowadays, it's in the in the present. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. In a, nowadays, I I just uh, work working uh, online. Mm -hmm. Uh, nearly two or three days, days a week. Okay, good. Nice. Anybody? Okay, let me see. Andrea? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, Anna? Okay. 
next year I'm going to to uh, to work. <laughs> uh -huh. No, oh no, 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 no. I'm going to to have a work. I'm going to get. I'm going to get. Okay. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to get a job. Okay. I'm going to get a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Positive mind. Okay. Okay, good. Nice. Eh, Diana? Eh, you can hear me. Yes, cl okay. loud and clear. <laughs> Next year, I'm going to apply for a scholarship. Good. Is it true? Yes. All right. I want to do uh, some master. Did you finish your, your university here now? Yes, this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. What 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 have you studied? What Architecture. You oh, great! Mm -hmm. And and the uh, scholarship is going to. What is the? I mean, the master degree that you want to take. I want to apply some some being manager, like the the person who see everything in in the supervisor the project. Supervise. Mm -hmm. Supervise project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. Uh, in the United States. Thanks. Uh, I want it. I want it, but I don't know. I'm gonna see the the, the possibilities. The possibilities. Okay. Right. Um. Let me see. Yes. Yeah. For for a scholarship is easier. You should mm -hmm. uh go to the American Embassy webpage mm -hmm. because sometimes they have a lot of uh they offer mm -hmm. some uh, scholarships. Uh, that you can also take uh you know advantage of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Nice. Good, good. And okay. thanks, uh -huh. Anna, too. Okay. Nice. Uh, Amanda? Or Juan? No? I am. Okay, Herbert. Next year, I'm going to visit my nephew because he is going to get married. Okay, that's a nice one. That's an, a good reason. Hey, that's a good yes. reason. Okay. Fisher? Yes, Anna? Nowadays, nowadays, uh, nowadays the, ch the children uh, don't... Uh, Bañarse con el agua de la lluvia, no se puede decir. Don't, uh -huh. don't, uh, don't shower with the rain, okay? Or don't Touch. shower in the rain, yes. Don't, don't get... shower with rain. Ah, uh, in the rain. Yes, we, I just do that, yeah, that's good. We used to collect, we used to collect uh, the water in, in barrels when it rained. And the next day we took a shower with that water, very, very cold. Not a... Yeah, that was great. So I could pack it and the huesos, of the Tia Sí. Yeah. And it worked actually, and I was it was good. It was a, a good tip. Good okay, tip. Martin. Me, teacher. Yes, Luis Miguel, go ahead. Okay. As a child, I used to fly piscuchas. Ah, the, and... the kites. Skites. Skites. I'm going to write here. Look in the in the chat. Kites. Kites. Kites is biscuitas. Yes. Oh. So you say uh, uh, as a child? As I as a child I used to fly kites. Correct. Uh, Five, five years ago, I'm working in Pollo Campero. Uh, uh, five years ago, I uh -huh, I worked. I worked in at Pollo Campero. Campero. Okay. At Pollo Campero. Uh, nowadays, I work in my whole business family. My own, my, uh, my own family. Own, business. own business, family business. Mm -hmm. Next year, next year. I'm going to speak fluent English. Uh, in five years, I have my own, own company. Okay. In I'll the, have 
Sorry? I'll have. I'll have my own company. My own company. In 10 years ago, maybe I am living in another country, maybe. In 10 years. Know. Okay. Ten in years. 10 years, I might live in another country. I'll live in another country. Okay, good. Now, Catherine, Kenya, these are. As a child, I used to be chai. <laughs> okay. Five now, years ago. Now, no. Uh, no. A little it's, bit. It's less, yes. <laughs> it's less. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. uh, Five years ago, I was um, living with my parents. No one days, I only live with my father. Okay. Next year, I going to travel to another country. Mm -hmm. Um, in five years, I will get. I, I don't know. No sé cómo decirlo. I get uh, I get jobs with a good salary. Okay. Yeah, I'll get a job with a good salary. Good. Um, in 10 years, I, I would like to, to be a good job. To be in a good job. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Well, if you continue practicing English like this, it's very, very likely, it's very probable. You know, English opens a lot of opportunities, right? For better jobs, better salary. I think it's possible for you, Kenya. Good. Nice way to see it. Sure. Yes, Anna. Uh, about the in five years, in ten years, or five years, uh, we we can uh, change uh, the the years. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. In twenty years, it can be in one week. I can use the months. One month. In two months, in one second, I'm going to, okay, in five minutes, um, I'll finish this activity, okay? Okay. In five, oh. in five uh, let's say five days, let me see, yes, in five days, I will give you another exam. I don't know, okay? Yes, you can change the time. In one month? In one month, where there's a next year? Yes, uh -huh. you can say next year. Okay, yeah. say or in one month. Okay, because in one, month. Uh -huh. in one month is because uh, suppose I can say in one month, I will be uh, preparing to leave the country, okay? So you can say next year, but if I say in one month, it's more specific. If I say next year, it could be January, February, yeah. March, May, June, July, yeah. any month. In a specific. More, more general. More in a specific, yeah. But not say, teacher, but not say the name, the, the month. Oh, you, you can say that. In okay. July, in July next year, mm. I'm going to, I'm going to be on vacation. Uh, in June next year or next June, next July, uh, next uh, let's say next uh, December, next Christmas. Okay, so then we'll, that one, next we'll summer. Be in will be in my next birthday. My next birthday, yes. So you see, okay. the same expressions they give you some here, but. The same expressions that we have here can be taken in a... And present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay. Hello, everyone. Before you watch... So then uh, the time expressions, the time contrast depends on what you want to say. Okay, not only these expressions. You can use many more. Okay, now... We finished this one yesterday, right? No. Uh, 
No, oh, teacher. Yeah. No. no, we didn't. Oh, yes, yes. We did it. Yeah. But I didn't send it. Yeah, we did. Now we have. Okay, in this class, you will notice and practice intonation. For the, this is for pronunciation. In statements beginning with a phrase. Also, at the end of the class, you will have time to practice and personalize phrases using different tenses. Okay. There we go. Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, People use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used to. Two years ago, I. In five years, I. Okay, let me go back to this. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in. Okay, so here we have the intonation. It says listen and practice. In the past, we say in the past. Then when you see the arrow going up, then we say in the past. Very few people, very few people use computers. No computers, right? Computers. Today, today, people use computers all the time. Time. Uh, in the future, future, there will be a computer in every home. So you see, at the beginning, the time expression goes up. And at the end of the sentence, the intonation goes down. Okay? Now, uh, Luis Miguel, can you read the three sentences, please? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Listen and practice. Notice the, the intonation in these sentences. Begin with a time phrase. In the past, very few people use computer. Today, people use computer all the time time in the future there will be a computer in every home in every home okay good now a uh, maria read the three sentences the person uh, today people use computers all the time uh, no in the one two three in the past oh uh, the three. The three, uh -huh, the three cents. Oh, uh, in the past, very few people use computer. Uh, today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, good. Thank you. Diana? Read the three cents. Okay, but in the past, very few people use computers. Computers. Today, computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Very good. Nice. Amanda? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. In the past, 
Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in, in every home. In every home. Okay, thanks. Eh, Juan? Okay, Rebecca? Hello, Rebecca Abigail. Okay, Mercy. My goodness. Mercy, are you there? Biden? Okay, So, read the three sentences, please. Okay. Uh, in the past, very few people use a computer. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in very home. In every home. Computer. Okay. Computer. Computer. Yes, that's correct. Okay, good. Herbert. Uh, in the past, very few people use a computer. Today, people use computer all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Anna. Okay. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In every home. Good. Martin? Martin de Jesus? So, Catherine? Okay, Catherine, maybe, maybe you're trying to speak, but there is no audio. I can see the yellow frame that you are trying to speak. Oh, yes. Hi. Hi, here. Okay, in the past. No, Catherine, there is a problem with your microphone. Okay, no problem. Try to fix it. Teacher, uh, yeah. I, uh, I, I can hear she. I can hear her. Can, can hear. Oh, yeah. I can hear her too. Okay, good. Oh. Only, I, only you can uh -huh. hear. Uh-huh. Like the other day, I couldn't hear you. Only the class. Yeah. I yeah. I don't, I don't know why. It's a, another glitch. It's a ghost. Okay, good, Catherine. No problem. Uh, Kenya? In the past, every few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In every home, yes. Okay, Cesar. In the past, very few people use computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. In every home, okay. Now, this is the future in this moment because, you know, in all the houses, well, the majority, right? All the houses, there is a computer. That was a prediction 20 years ago, okay? But now it's a reality. In these statements, beginning with a time phrase. In the past. Okay. Now, listen again. Statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. Okay.
<clears throat> in this one, uh, in this class, you will listen to an audio and make the exercise. As you listen, you will develop the skills in listening for main ideas. Okay, so we have uh, listen to people discuss changes in their neighborhoods. Check the topic each person talks about, okay? So there are one, two, three people talking about some issues, okay? Uh, some changes in the neighborhood, and then you have to mark. First, we're going to listen to the woman. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, and that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, well, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus. And when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. All right. So then you can tell me, for example, uh, the topics that each person talks about. Okay. 
Okay. Yung woman talk, talks about environment. Okay, about environment. Okay, anybody else? Okay. Vamos a ponerlo una vez más para que ponga, eh, ponga la atención. And we'll see. Listen again. Listen to people discuss changes. Check the topic each person talks about. One. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Two. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city, but you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. Three. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on this street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Page 60. Exercise 5. Part B. Listen again. Write down the change and if things are better or worse now. 1. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. 2. How do you like living here? Well, it's an interesting city. But you really need a car here. Otherwise, you can't go anywhere. There used to be a good bus system, but there isn't anymore. Why is that? Oh, I think they expect everyone to have a car, so they don't bother to provide decent bus service. It's getting worse and worse. These days, you have to wait for ages for a bus, and when one finally shows up, it's usually full. 3. I can't believe how much this neighborhood has changed. What do you mean? Well, when Joe and I first bought this house, that was almost 20 years ago, of course, there were lots of young couples with children living on the street. I don't see any kids out today. That's because they've all grown up and moved out of their parents' houses. Just about the only young children we see around here these days are the grandchildren when they come to visit. It's a shame. I miss the sounds of kids playing. It's gotten way too quiet around here. Okay, so the first one was the environment. What about the man? He needs a car transportation. About transportation. Yes. Correct. And the woman? The families. Families, right? So now they are less people. Okay. That was it. Uh, it is good that if you if you understand uh, everything from the listening, good. If not, you can continue listening, right? Because remember that yeah. the, the ear needs a lot, a lot of training. And then, uh, yeah. and then with this kind of, uh, let's say, uh, audios, it's more complicated to, to practice. All right. 
So let's see the next one. So by the end of this class, you will learn how to use conditional sentences uh, with if clauses. Okay, what is a conditional sentence? Okay, so we have first. Uh, if. Uh -huh. Sorry. Who's speaking? Okay. Okay. Good. Well, the if uh, the if conditional sentence is when we are going to use the well. There are, for example, we can say yes. We can say uh, okay, Catherine. No, no problem, Catherine. It's okay. Uh, <clears throat> When you say, for example, we have just no questions, you say, do you like candies? You say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you work? Yes, I do. No, no, I don't. Okay, yes, it's affirmative. No, it's negative. But then there is another yes, but it has to work with the conditions. Okay, and when we talk <clears throat> about conditions, uh, let me see if we can show you this. Yeah. Well, well, just give me a second. Section mm -hmm. text. Michelle. Yeah. Yes. The condition noise when I use it. No. Excuse me? Can you repeat that, please? Uh, the condition. Uh huh. When I use uh, it. No. Exactly. And that's what I'm writing here in the chat. For example, if I, uh, if I am hungry, Okay, comma, I prepare a sandwich. Okay, look at this sentence. You say, if I am hungry, that is the condition. I prepare a sandwich. So if I am not hungry, then I don't prepare a sandwich. So then, for example, the con there is a condition. Do and... you, you, you write in the chat? Yes. Uh, uh, I, can, it... I can. I can. You can. Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know. I know what happened. I can't see. Um. Then. The Okay, say so if I'm hungry, I prepare a sandwich. And then you say, for example, that that is the if is the condition. Okay, and then I prepare a sandwich is the result. Then you say, for example, mm -hmm. uh, if I am tired, I go to sleep or I sleep. Then if I am uh, angry, I try to relax, okay? Uh, if I am, uh, let's say if I am, what else? If I am, a, if I study, I try to get good grades, all right? So then this is, for example, a condition. Now, look at this sentence, at this video. Mm -hmm. And then we would see, for example, what is a possible. Are you writing? Are you no. writing? I don't see. I, I, I can see. In the chat. You see the, the sentence? In the chat, there yes. is one sentence. Mm, I don't, I don't, I don't see. Is that right? Uh, but they no. is for everybody. Mm, I don't know. 
don't know. Okay, then probably, I don't know, maybe it's the platform giving some some glitches or you, I'm going to copy and paste it again. Maybe you can see it now. Okay, but it's, it doesn't matter. You can watch here in the video, some other examples, and then we can discuss it. Hi, we're about to study conditional sentences. A conditional sentence is formed by a possible situation and a consequence. Pay attention to the audio program for more explanation. Conditional sentences with if clauses. Possible situation plus simple present. If you get a high-paying job. Consequence plus future with will, may, or might. You won't have to work as hard. If you get a high-paying job, you won't have to work as hard. If you don't have to work as hard, you'll have a lot more free time. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. If you get bored, you may have to look for another job. The first conditional is a structured used for talking about possibilities in the present or the future. We will explain you how this conditional is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional, by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional, we use the word if. So we say, if I study, I will pass my exam. Follow me in the structure. If clause, if plus subject plus verb in simple present. Main clause, subject plus will plus verb. Let's work on more examples. If you save money, you will go on a trip. If she speaks English, she will have a better job. If we exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English, if you lose your job, if you have children, don't forget to write your consequence using the future will, may, or might. We will explain you how this condition is formed and when it is used. When we talk about this conditional, which is called first conditional by the way, we will divide it in two parts, if clause and main clause. In conditional mm -hmm. we use the word if, so we say if I start. Okay, so this is the similar to what I was writing in the chat and say if is the, <clears throat> there are two sentences here. If I study, Okay, it's one sentence, the conditional. Then uh, there is a mistake here because they have to use here a comma. Okay, if I study, comma, I will pass my exam. Okay, if I study, I will pass my exam. If we, and this one you have to use, <clears throat> this is what they call the first conditional. If I study is present. And in the future, isn't the other close. I will pass my exam. Uh, if I if I press if I press the call button, your telephone will uh, will ring. Uh, if I go to if I go to the doctor, I will know my uh, physical problem, my health problem. Okay. If I take English classes, I will learn more English. If I study hard, I will pass my exams. Okay, present, future, present, future. And you can invert it. I will pass my exam if I study. Okay, and that is what we call the conditional uh, sentence right questions questions or tell me one sentence okay. Herbert, uh -huh. 
the the we 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 can change the the uh the formula no sé de, o sea puedo pasar el if al final y puedo hacer el principio del el, el, el futuro tell me the tell me the example okay if we uh I will don't learn English if I don't pay attention in class Yes, I want. I I, I, I do I that. I want. I want. I want. Mm -hmm. I want learn English. I if learn. I don't pay attention in class, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why I say you can invert it. Invert it. Okay. Yes. El orden de los aguacates no altera el guacamole. They say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no problem. Okay. Yes, Herbert. Yes. Is I is I work hard, I will have much money. Cool. Yes. If I work hard, I will have more money. Much more money. Uh -huh. Or I will have much more money if I work hard. Okay. okay. Good. The only difference, Anna, Herbert, and the rest of the class, if, I, if you begin the sentence, if I study, Coma. Ahí hay un error in the, in the video. If I study, coma, I will pass my exam. If you change, I will pass my exam if I study. Well, if is in the second, no coma. Okay? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Only that. Then the rest, the meaning, the, the message is the same. Okay, so there, then... There is, a, there is a pause. There is a pause when you, say, when you begin with if. Uh -huh. If I study, I will pass my exam. If I I am if I am asleep if I am uh, if I am tired tomorrow I will sleep all day. Okay, I will sleep all day if I am tired tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Perfect people. So then uh, we're going to stop here for today. So this is if. For you to think about it, and on Monday we are going to to have more more practice. Okay, with this uh, conditionals, I will explain more the conditionals now uh, how to use them because there are five types. I think of tips right five types of conditionals. This is the first one. That is zero, one, first, second, third. And then you have the mixed conditionals. So there are five types. Okay, I will explain that. Okay, so we have Dayanara Palacios is here. Yes. Yes. Angel Isaac. Yes, it's not here. Byron, Giovanni. Here. Yes. Then we have uh, Cesar Rivan is here. Yes. Dennis. Yes, Cesar, no problem. Now you're crying. Dennis Adonai. Okay. Herbert Adan. Yes. Then we have Juan Carlos Cubillas. Juan Carlos. Catherine Joanna. Present. They have, then we have Kenya. Present. Kenya, Luis Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Yes. Maria Delmi. I'm here. Yes. Martin is here too. Uh, Mercy, Mercy, Mercy is here too. Nuria Saray. Rebecca Abigail. Present teacher. Yes, okay. And then we have Stephanie. Stephanie Jamilet. Okay, did I mention everybody? Yeah. Yes. I didn't know it. Anna, I didn't mention yours. Oh, it's not possible. You're you're the second one. Uh, yes, you were no, you were what? 
you were watching the novella, right? Watching the soap opera. That's why you, <laughs> you didn't listen. To, didn't listen to your name, okay? When you are in class, you have to pay attention. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you're not paying attention, okay. If you are watching the soap opera, the novella, then you will not learn English. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Just kidding. Okay, everybody. So very have a very nice uh, weekend. See you on Monday at the same time. Okay, be good. Practice your English. Watch Thank movies you. in English. Listen to music in English and everything. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.